What's up guys? It is late June 2022 and I needed a day off so I came out to Deep Lakes Park in Muscatine County just south of the city of Muscatine. If you've never been here it's a really cool place. It's a series of old sand pits that were donated to the county to make a park and they've been improving it every year. So I'm on Lake Chester which is on the northeast side of the park. There's a boat ramp here. There is uh, one more boat ramp on Lake Victoria, which is on the southwest side. Uh, it's electric motors only. I'm here in my little fishing kayak and I have a good setup. I got a cooler full of uh, water and even a step two and a lunch and decided to come out here. One of the really cool things about this lake, these lakes are how clear it is. So you can see down sometimes 20 or more feet here which is really rare in Iowa and it's just a nice place to fish there are bass uh, crappie bluegill they have stocked a lot of tiger muskie in here which I haven't seen yet but people have caught them and uh, I don't know my first stop is this little island in Lake Chester I love this place uh, if I need a little shade I can get it I can sit on the beach fish a little bit but yeah I'm just out here enjoying life in the fishing kayak today and uh, thanks for coming along. I hope we'll maybe catch some fish to show you today. Look at this beautiful clear water. This is pretty cool. You don't see this much in Iowa. All right, well, posted up here. My little island, got my little umbrella. Doing a bit of bobber fishing and having a bit of lunch. Tons and tons of these little fishies here sitting on the sand toes in the water yeah this is pretty good and relaxing have a little lunch explore this little island and then uh, do some more paddling this is kind of fun just throw a little Crust of bread to these tiny fish. I think they're bass fry. As a kid, I used to fish at Vanderveer Park and uh, Davenport. We'd throw out little, little bits of Wonder Bread, and all the bullheads would come around and go crazy. It's kind of fun to see these little guys. I don't know if they're bass fry or minnows or what they are, but there are a lot of them, and they seem to enjoy the bread. Kind of fun. couple observations from a bushcraft standpoint. So this depression in the sand with feathers and poop all around it looks like the nest of a murder duck like they were spawning here. AKA the more proper name Canada Goose. I love Canada. Letter Kenny, Steve Wallace, Poutine, All Dress Seasoning, Emporium Outdoors. Everything Canadian is good except they're geese. I don't know why they sent them down here. Some kind of devil's bargain. Such nice people, such good videos, such good food. They're geese. Oh my god, we can do without them. Also here, you see, this plant is Maline. Uh, it gets quite tall. It gets these kind of feathery leaves. So, I have not done anything with this plant except observe and admire it, but I am told the leaves are known as backpackers to also told that the seeds in the fall can be used to stun fish in a survival setting that you can make like a kind of a soapy tincture with this in a bowl, put it in the water and the fish will float up. Obviously that would be illegal so I'm not going to try it here but if you were in a survival situation it might be something that you could try and uh, if nothing else you'd have toilet paper. So alright time to explore the island a little bit more. It's so much fun watching these little bass cruise in their pods and these big shoals of minnows kind of go shallow and run up the side to avoid the bass. It's really a beautiful day out here today. Now this is funny. Many years ago I used to do a hobby called geocaching 
and I haven't done it for many years, but uh, I came up here to sit in the shade and looked and there was this little pill bottle wired to the tree. I'm like, that looks like a geocache. So I opened it and it was. There are about four people who have signed it. So uh, it's an interesting hobby. Uh, yeah, it's interesting, that's all I'll say. But if you get out to this island in the middle of Lake Chester, you can log yourself a geocache and who knows where that might take you. And these guys have to be six inches across. There's some more up there, lots of little ones on the beach, but this clean water apparently supports uh, population. Really interesting, another thing you don't see much in Iowa, especially in still water. All right, well, uh, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. I'm up here in Valentine Chute, uh, kind of just north of the dock and the put-in, and I think this is where the video will end uh, for today. Uh, did a lot of fishing, didn't catch anything, saw some decent-sized bass, some really big bluegills in this cove. Uh, but this is a very challenging lake system to fish because it's so clear. A little, well, actually pretty good-sized bluegill just swam up and saw the boat and swam off. Um, you know, it's, it's tough fishing out here, but it's great paddling, it's great playing. There are some nice cabins just around the bend that you can rent. Uh, there are wonderful restaurants in Muscatine in the area. Uh, Izalco is a Salvadorian restaurant that's nearby that's really, really good. So you can go there uh, if you're up in this neck of the woods and just lots of good paddling. And uh, I'm gonna come out here hopefully in a couple weeks if the weather is good with a group of friends and do some paddling. And I think it'll be a really fun place for that. You know, bringing a fishing pole out here is fairly optional, I, you know certainly nothing to lose by trying it. Fishing is always fun. As Matthew says, it's, you know, they don't call it catching, they call it fishing, and it's always uh, relaxing and fun when you do it right, and uh, try to do it right. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Trout fishing in Iowa today was bluegill fishing in Muscatine, totally different, but uh, clear water, solitude, bird song, and uh, maybe a step two when I get back to the dock, and call it a great day. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.